So similar segments are another option when it comes to audience targeting for your Google Ads campaigns. You can reach users who are similar to people in your data segments. So very similar to lookalike audiences. If you're familiar with Facebook ads, Google ads will automatically create your similar segments when you create audience segments using your data. So once you create audiences using your data that are eligible to run on certain networks through your Google ads account, you're going to have similar segments automatically created in your Google ads account as well. I'll show you exactly what happens in a second, but in addition, your similar segments will stay updated as your data segments change over time. So if you have a data segment for people who have visited your website over the last 30 days, the people who visit your website in January may be different than the people who visit your website in July. So as you get different people visiting your website with different interests, demographic data, Google Ads is going to keep your similar segments updated to make sure that they most closely match the people that are currently in your data segments. These are available for display, search, video, and discovery campaigns. So let's come over to our Google Ads account. And the first thing I want to show you is we come in here to Tools and Settings under Shared Library if we go to our Audience Manager. So these are my data segments here. And what you're going to see is there's different types. So there's website visitors, there's YouTube users. As we scroll down here, there's custom combination segments. So there's different segments here. But what you're going to see is if I click on type and we scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see some of these different similar segments. So let's show all of the rows. And coming down here, I have three different similar segments that were automatically created. One is similar to all visitors, AdWords. One is similar to all visitors over the last 30 days. One is similar to all users of Beachfront Decor. These are actually the same audience over and over. But what you're going to see is a lot of the different audiences that I've created using my data, such as YouTube users, such as website visitors, are too small to serve. So these other ones here are eligible lists. So as you start creating more and more eligible lists using your data, you're going to have more and more similar audiences created. So what you really want to do is make sure you're using some of the most high impact audiences with your data, such as people who are adding products to the cart, people who are purchasing from you, people who are signing up for your email list. So people who are actually interacting with your business, purchasing from you, visiting specific pages that are more valuable to your business. You want to create audiences using that data and you can use it whether if we come over here to your data sources, you can use the Google ads tag. You can use your Google analytics for account. You can link your YouTube channel. As we scroll down here, you can link information about your mobile app. If you have it, you can also import your email list directly to Google ads as well. So all of those allow you, we come over here to segments to create similar segments based on our data segments. So any data segment that you're creating using your data that becomes eligible to serve, you're going to have an automatically created similar segment that you can now target with your advertisements. So let's come back over here to Google ads and let's go to our account and let's click to create a new campaign. So we're just going to create a new display campaign. So let's say we want to drive sales. We'll use our conversion goals. We'll click on continue. We're going to choose a display campaign and we're going to click on continue. Okay. So you want to do your campaign settings, your budget, your bidding strategy, and then we want to come down here to targeting. So we have optimized targeting set up for you. So Google ads is automatically going to try to drive us more conversions by using information from our landing page and our ads and our ad copy, everything they can use to try to drive more conversions for us. So we're going to click on ad targeting and down here, you're going to see audience segments. So when we click on audience segments, we're going to go to browse and then you're going to see your data and similar segments, how they have interacted with your business. So let's click and we're going to click on our similar segments. You can see the three that I was showing you before. Now these are all three, the exact same thing. So I just have all users of beachfront decor. I have all visitors over the last 30 days and I have all visitors AdWords. So it's three of the same exact segments. So let's just say all visitors over the last 30 days. So we're targeting this similar segment. And if we just scroll over this, you're going to see automatically created expanded segment with interests similar to the people in all visitors 30 days. So they're finding the people that are the most closely related to the people that are visiting my website over the last 30 days. This audience size is going to be anywhere between 11,000 and 200,000. So a pretty large range, but it's going to change over time. So as different people visit my website, the similar segment is going to change as well. Now you're also going to have similar segments for your YouTube users. You can have similar segments for a customer match list. So you can create all of these different similar segments. You can just create a remarketing audience using your data 
and say anybody who has visited my order confirmation page over the last, you could say 540 days. And as you get so many orders and you have a bunch of people on that audience and it becomes eligible on the Google Display Network or the Google Search Network, what you can actually do is use that similar segment and target people who are most closely re related to people who are actually purchasing on your website, using their interests, every single characteristic that Google Ads can possibly use. They're gonna use all of that to create your similar segments and then you can target them in your ads campaigns and these are one of my favorite audiences to target when we're not just specifically targeting our website visitors or our YouTube users or people who have interacted with our business before. We're trying to find new customers who are going to be very similar to people who are interacting with our business. So if you have any questions about similar segments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.